Hey guys, uh, welcome to Stafford High School Science. My name is Mr. Cargill. We'll be working in Head Rush today. We're on uh, the uh, module Robotics 6, where we're using the Arduino Smart Car to establish speed or rate. Uh, today, before we start, I, I have kind of some bad news. The bad news is you've got to be able to do math. Whether you're going to go into engineering or into computer science, you're going to need to have some math skill. And today we're going to take a look at two equations that you're going to use over and over again. The first one is the line slope formula or equation, and the second one is point slope equation. Both of these I'm sure you're familiar with, but I think we should always take a little bit of time to review them because you're going to use them over and over again in computer science and in engineering and in science in general. Today I've taken the liberty to go ahead and draw a graph with an X and Y coordinates and I've, I've established two dots along that line, two points along that line. The first one is at 2.2 and 2.5 if you can't read my writing and the second one is 8.9 and 7.0. So this is the, uh, the graph that we're going to be using. Now most of you know, or, or if you don't, that's okay, because we're going to take a look at it right now, that slope is usually indicated by using M. M equals slope. And slope is rise over run. So it's rise over run. And what does that mean? Well, rise would be the y, and run would be the x. Rise is y, run is x. Or if I put that a little bit differently, I'm going to use this triangle, which means that's delta. Delta means change in. And it's kind of cool because once you go delta, People think you know a lot, you know, so you're going to go delta y, or the change in y, divided by the change in x. Now, didn't that sound smart? Delta y and delta x. And all it means is rise over run, or the change in y, minus, or divided by the change in x. So, how do we find change in y? We take y's final position, and we subtract y's initial position. X, we do the same thing. X, we take the final position, and we subtract X initial position. And how do we get those figures? Well, we look over here. This would be X. This would be the initial. This would be the final, if we're moving up that line. The Y, this is the X coordinate. This is the Y coordinate. This is the X. This is the Y. So we can see our y's and our x's now. So let's go ahead and just figure the slope. So for this particular line, slope would equal y final, which is 7.0, subtract 2.5. Right? And then we're going to divide that by the final of x. Where's the final of x? 8.9 minus the x initial was 2.2. So let's do just get our calculators out and just do a little quick math. Uh, 7.0. 7.0 minus 2.5, and we get 4.5. So x, or y, is 4.5. Now let's see what x is. x is 8.9 minus 2.2, which equals 6.7. So, so far, our slope equals 4.5 divided by 6.7. So let's see what that comes out to be. 4.5 divided by 6.7. And that comes out to be 0.67. So let's use that. 0 
6, 7. So now that's our slope. Our slope equals 0.67. So now we, all we need to do is figure out what the line slope equation is. I mean point slope uh, equation. So what's the point slope equation? Well, the point slope equation is y minus y1, or initial 1, equals the slope times x minus x1. Okay, so now the y1 and the x1 are what we have in our in our graph. And we can either use 2.2 and 2.5 or we can use 8.9 and 7.0. And that just comes right off our graph. So we can come right over here and take a look and we can take this one or this one. I'm going to choose to take this one because it's just a little easier figuring. So let's go ahead and substitute in our, our numbers, our values. So we have y minus y1, which is 2.5, right? That's our y. Equals, now this is our slope. Remember, we know our slope. It's back up here. This is our slope right there. This is our slope. So we're going to put it in. And then we're going to substitute in our value for x1. x1, now we have to use this one because this is one we're using. We're going to use 2.2. And now you have an equation that we can deal with. Now, you're going to say, oh my gosh, how do we deal with this equation, right? Well, let's just distribute this 6.7 through here. So what do we have? We take 0 0.67 times 1x is just x. Now I'm going to have to figure this out. What's 2.2 uh, times 0 0.67? I have 1.47. 1.47. So now you say, well, what do we do now? Well, let's, let's get rid of this 2.5. So we have a minus 2.5, so in order to get rid of we have to have a positive over here. So let's go ahead and go y, we're going to add 2.5, and we're going to add 2.5. So we're going to go 0.67x, and now I have a minus 1.47 plus 2.5, and that gives me a one point. Is that right? I think so. 1.03. Now, if I didn't make any mistakes in my math, uh, this would be correct. Correct? This would be our answer. Whoa. Let's see if I can get that better. This would be our answer for our point slope equation. So now what this is telling us, if we take and rewrite x, if we make x 3 over here on this line, if we bring x up to 3, or over to 3, is that 3? 1, 2... Let's say we bring it to here. We should be able to figure our y just by substituting in a number. That becomes really important when we're using our analog rights. Because when we're doing our right values, our analog rights, they're going to be the x value. And so we'll be able to, to program the Arduino to do the mouth calculations. So no matter what analog right we put in, we should be able to get a distance. And so as we start to look at this today, you're going to need to understand that we're using slope and we're using the point line formula, point slope equation, to establish the rate 
and then we're going to use it to establish the distance in our program. So that's that's uh, that's where we're headed. I do believe that uh, Mr. McCorder is going to take you through some programming, some coding of the Arduino, and I'll see you on the other side, and we'll do some uh, we'll do some coding, and we'll establish our our rate. Good luck.